So you're thinking about the University of Waterloo and you want to learn more about residence and student life. So let me tell you about the university colleges. There are four university colleges at the University of Waterloo, Grable, St. Jerome's, St. Paul's and Renison. All the university colleges offer academic programming and residence options and they're available to all University of Waterloo students across all six faculties. So let me bust a little myth for you by saying that all the university colleges are fully 100% part of the University of Waterloo. They're located at the University of Waterloo. It's kind of like a, a neighborhood within a city. So by being part of a university college, you are unlocking additional perks. But take note, uh, to live at Renison, St. Jerome's or St. Paul's, you use the U Waterloo ranking process, whereas Grable has a separate application. But more on that later. First, the perks of the university colleges. I've asked Lillian and Simon, two current students who've lived or studied at the university colleges, to help explain what the colleges are, what commonalities they have, and how you can reap the benefits of these hidden gems at the University of Waterloo. Simon, Lillian? Hi, my name is Lillian. I'm a Faculty of Arts student, just finishing up my second year in Gender and Social Justice, um, and also completing a minor in Sexuality, Marriage, and Family Studies. Hi everybody, my name is Simon. I'm just finishing up my second year in the program of Environment, Resources, and Sustainability, and I'm pursuing a double major with Biology. So community, it can be considered a bit of a buzzword, but there isn't really a better way to describe what's happening at the colleges. I was wondering if you two could describe how community and your experience at the university colleges has impacted uh, your University of Waterloo experience. Yeah, for sure. Having graduated from high school um, from Vietnam, I traveled halfway around the world just to attend the University of Waterloo. Um, but without a family in Ontario, I had to rely on those around me in residence. Everyone was so friendly and welcoming that I immediately knew I had found a home away from my home. The community around me quickly became my support system, and I now have friendships that I know will last a lifetime. Amazing. So I knew that I wanted to integrate community into my university experience. Um, so when I was looking at residences, I considered a live and learn community or um, applying to one of the university colleges. Um, and because the university colleges are smaller, they're able to offer a lower dawn to student ratio and additional supports that come along with that, um, being a residence in an academic community. Uh, so it was because of the additional programs and supports that I could tap into, as well as the strong sense of community there, um, that I chose the colleges for my university experience. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, leadership and involvement opportunities is something else that all the university colleges are really well known for. Uh, so what are some ways that you took advantage of um, the ways that you could get involved uh, in your university college or take on leadership roles? So I'm definitely someone who enjoys being involved in what's going on around me. Um, I've been part of a number of opportunities that the colleges have offered me um, and that have been available. Um, so my favorite opportunity so far was being involved with the service learning experience that traveled to Peru last summer. Um, and there we got to meet with some of the organizations that the university is partnered with. Um, I've also really loved being involved with the student activities that happen on campus. There's so many ways to have fun, be involved, de-stress and get to know your community members. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. So I've always been a big sports guy. So being part of the intramural teams has been a blast for me. Um, from volleyball to basketball, spike ball, and even dodgeball, being on a team with my friends from residence uh, has always been a great way to balance school and exercise. I also love the opportunities for student initiatives, like the outdoor ice rink that my roommate and I made in first year. Then there are just so many ways to get involved, uh, but thanks for sharing your stories. Uh, one last thing, all four of the university colleges, uh, something else we have in common is all you can eat meal plans. Uh, it's so amazing to not have that declining balance. Uh, I was wondering if you could share a little bit about your favorite foods or uh, what meal times look like at the colleges. Um, what's the all you can eat meal plan lifestyle like? Yeah, so the adjustment to university life um, can be really challenging for a lot of students. Um, so for me, the all-you-can-eat meal plan took a bit of stress out of that transition. I was never worried about not having enough to eat or even having to decide what plan I thought would be best for me. Being able to go downstairs to the cafe at any time throughout the day to grab a snack or hang out even um, and join my friends at mealtimes really made my residence experience feel more like home. 
Yeah. And honestly, I had the same experience and the all you can eat meal plan was a really big draw for me. With so much else going on in my life at university, not having to worry about cooking or even where I'm going to eat took a huge burden off my shoulders. And eating meals together is a great way to build friendships and get to know the people around you. Of course, it helps that the pre pre prepared food is always delicious. Thanks so much, Lillian. Thanks, Simon. Um, I wish that I could just hop over to the colleges right now and have a meal. <laughs> um, I, do you have any final words before you sign off? I would really just love to say that, you know, university is all about finding a place that's best for, for you. Um, but being involved with the university colleges really brought more to my experience than I ever anticipated. Yeah. And for myself, I'm so glad I got to, I had the choice to live at the university colleges and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Thanks so much, Lillian. Thanks, Simon. Uh, you shared a really great perspective of what it's like for future students uh, coming to live uh, or study at the university colleges. I think it's really super helpful and your perspective was really appreciated. So thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. So by now you've probably realized that all the colleges are fantastic. They're all such great residence options. Uh, you can only live at one of them though. So what's going to help you decide? Uh, here are a few distinguishing features about each of the university colleges. We'll start with uh, Conrad Grable. At Grable, there are traditional style rooms, uh, which means you'll have a roommate. They boast the largest residence room windows on campus, so letting in tons of natural light this is the only residence on campus that's about a 50-50 split of first year and upper year students. So what that means at Grable is that you're really well supported by all the upper year students on your floors who become great friends and mentors. And Grable is also a home base for people long past their first year, often staying connected for their entire undergrad experience. There are two academic programs housed at Grable, Music and Peace and Conflict Studies, and both of those have living learning communities. There's also a Peace Tech living learning community at Grable, which emphasizes the intersection between peace and technology. So if any of that sounded of interest to you, then check out Grable. Uh, at Renison, there's about 207 students who live there, and they have two different styles of rooms. There's a traditional style, or there's a link style room, and that includes a semi-private washroom, which is pretty neat. Renison houses the Social Development Studies program, and uh, that's one of the 23 majors within the Faculty of Arts. So students in Honors Arts or Honors Arts and Business could actually choose to co-register at Renison, um, and they would be unlocking access to some additional perks in the Renison community. Renison houses the Social Development Studies Live Learn community and Warrior Academic Leadership community, um, and so those are for those student athletes on campus. So that's another living learning community. Renison takes pride in supporting student mental health and physical well-being. They are they have two full-time counselors uh, who support the students, and they have the lowest dawn to student ratio on campus, which is pretty fantastic. Then there's St. Paul's. Uh, at St. Paul's, you would have the option between single rooms and double rooms, and the double rooms have a privacy barrier and an ensuite washroom, which is pretty neat. All the rooms have individual temperature control, so air conditioning and heat. Uh, and St. Paul's is home to the Faculty of Environment Living Learning Community, um, a woman in engineering living learning community, and La Bastille, which is the only French residence floor at University of Waterloo. Uh, it's also the home of Waterloo's Indigenous Student Center uh, and the Greenhouse Innovator Residence Program. Um, that program is a community where students create our social or environmental change um, initiatives. There are three academic, three academic minors offered through St. Paul's, uh, and those are the Canadian Studies, Human Rights, and Indigenous Studies minors. That's St. Paul's. So if any of that um, really attracted you, captured your attention, check them out more. Then there's St. Jerome's University, and there are 360 beds. 50% uh, of those rooms are single rooms and 50% are double rooms, all of them fully furnished. Um, at St. Jerome's, there is an opportunity to co-register for Honors Arts and Honors Arts and Business students. Similar to Renison, this gives you access to um, St. Jerome's specific scholarships and supports, um, so a really great option. 
In addition to the wellness, spiritual, leadership, and academic support open to all St. Jerome students and residents, um, co-registered students also have an access to an academic advisor at St. Jerome's University, which is um, really amazing. At St. Jerome's, they have a large service learning program, um, so there would be opportunities to connect um, with local or international service and learning placements um, for a variety of student interests. There are some short-term um, opportunities from like one to two weeks, and there are also some long-term opportunities up to 90 days um, for those who are looking for um, those kinds of experiences. Uh, you can earn credits towards a global experience certificate through doing these programs, which is an amazing opportunity as well. At St. Jerome's, um, the classes are smaller, usually capped at around 35 students, and um, there are specific St. Jerome's faculty that teach. Renaissance St. Paul's and St. Jerome's are part of the 100% residence guarantee. So you'd be asked to list your top three residence choices um, on a resident ranking form. So you can find the form online at the link um, seen here, and the form is not completed or submit until the $500 deposit is paid. You can find more details on deadlines um, and ask any questions that you might have by going to this website here. Conrad Grable is not part of the university ranking and actually has a separate application process. Uh, you would fill out this online form found at grable.ca slash apply, and then you'd be invited to participate in an online group interview, which are fun and informal uh, and very informational. There's no risk associated with applying to Grable. There's no deposit required, and you'd actually find out about your Grable resident status before the housing ranking form is due. If you have any questions, we would be happy to receive them. Uh, you can contact any one of us with the contact information here, and you can also follow our Instagram pages. We would be so excited to welcome you to the University of Waterloo this fall and to welcome you to the University Colleges community. All of these options are fantastic, and we're looking forward to, uh, to being able to warmly welcome you to our campus.